Hey guys, welcome to another pick a card reading. Sorry if this is shaking my hand. I'm like holding the camera. Um, so this is going to be a pick up card for messages from spirit. So we have three piles this week. Um, I am filming this on the floor in the cottage. So bear with me here. Um, I'm trying to get the best camera set up that I can, but we'll see what I can kind of do. Um, but yeah, so we have three piles. It's going to be messages from spirit. Um, so the timestamps will be down below, so you can definitely check those out. Um, I have a bunch of other pick a cards on my channel as well. Um, I typically like to make these timeless is kind of my intention. So whenever you kind of feel you need to hear something, then you can kind of check them out. Um, I also do a bunch of pick a cards on my Instagram, so you can follow me on my Instagram as well, which is also linked down below. So we have three piles. We have pile number one here. And then we have pile number two and pile number three. Um, so yeah, pick which one you feel the most drawn to. Timestamps will be down below as well as in the comment section so you can find them there. Okay, so take as much time as you need to intuitively pick which pile you feel the most drawn to for your message. Um, you can pause this if you feel you need to in order to pick and I will see you in your reading. Hi, pile number one, welcome. Um, so if you chose this pile, you chose this pile. <laughs> uh, I didn't have any crystals today, um, but this is pile number one for you guys. So I've pre-pulled some Oracle cards already. Um, and then we're gonna pull live pull some tarot um, as well as um, the psychic tarot. So it's like an Oracle kind of tarot deck as well. So we'll kind of get some additional messages here. Um, you guys had a bunch of cards fall out for you, um, so we'll kind of see what comes up. Um, I pulled from three different de decks, but I think we got five cards, so let's kind of see where we go. So we got Love Endures. I'm trying to figure out how to show you guys these cards here. It says, Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So there could be something here um, that I feel like you maybe need to like kind of um, hold on to a little bit. I feel like you could be maybe feeling uh, doubtful about a situation or you feel like you've maybe lost hope in something, um, but you're needing to like be reminded that uh, to have love for yourself and for other people in this situation or just love in this situation, gratitude even, um, in order to kind of help make it through this situation. I'm kind of getting like Noah's Ark off of this, which is interesting. Um, so I don't know if that means anything to you in some aspect, but it's like, it's like, I feel like you could be going through rough waters or rough seas, but it's like having hope that you'll make it through this situation and that you'll be able to kind of persevere through this. So um, let's see what else comes up for you. We have Akasha. So this says, uh, your guidance is divinely guided. We also had pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Okay, so spirit's trying to, I kind of feel like there's a little bit of like, spirit's taking on you, you on a bit of an adventure here. Um, I feel like they're almost trying to show you how strong you are, how capable you are of um, overcoming obstacles, um, realizing that you have all the potential in you, you are the Oracle. Um, and when you can kind of like have your vibration on a level that's always like rising or always high, it allows you to persevere and move through tough situations. So I don't know if you're going through a tough situation right now, or you just feel like in general, maybe your life has been challenging. Um, I feel like you know, you're being guided down this path regardless. Like, I think there's something, I wouldn't be surprised if the strength card shows up um, for you guys because I feel like you're having the strength or needing the strength to kind of persevere through something. Um, but it's like, it's meant to be in your life. It's not by mistake that you're going through these challenges um, because I feel like it's teaching you a lot. And, and some of you might be able to like teach other people how to move through these challenges. Um because you did like so there might be something that like you're learning in this life that you're able to also teach people 
um, in this life because you've actually endured it. You've gone through the storm. We have breath of the cosmos, uh, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. And then we also have trust the timing, trust the wave you came in on, time is not running out. Um, I feel like um, you're kind of challenging the universe. You, you feel like um, you may be trying to control your situation. Like there's, there's a lack of trust in the universe that maybe you have or in spirit that you have. Um, that you're needing to trust that you're going through this for a reason. You're not losing out on time. It's like everything's meant to happen as it's happening. Um, so you just have to trust that things are going, um, are kind of like moving in the right direction here, or that you're on the right path. Again, you're, you're in this situation to like level yourself up. Um, it was interesting because I had somebody comment actually on one of my, I forget which video it was, but one of my videos this past week. Um, and they were like, why does everything have to be, um, so mysterious? Like, why does it have to, why do I have to figure everything out? Why do I have to, um, you know, why does it have to be like a puzzle essentially? And I think the answer to that is the fact that you're, you're here on earth to learn something, right? Like people always tell go, oh, what's my purpose? What's this? What's that? You're here to figure that out. I think, I think sometimes like the journey isn't so much of like fulfilling your purpose as much as it is like figuring out what your purpose is and what you're good at. Um, even if you like, you could know what your purpose is, but if you don't believe that you can achieve it or you don't believe that it's possible, you know, you might not fulfill that purpose, right? So I think that there's a lot about like what's in the journey. Um, and I think that that could be coming up for you guys as well as like the journey feels challenging to you. And so you might be losing faith in the universe or even in spirit to say like, well, what the heck? Like I've done, I'm, I'm only ever been a good person. <laughs> what did I do to kind of like deserve this? Right. And I think that, um, I think that spirit's saying like, just hold on, trust, trust in this, trust that, you know, things are going to work out here and that we've, we're helping you move forward in life. You just have to trust in that and not lose faith in us or in yourself. So let's see what else group one. We have patience and planning in reverse. It's like the seven of pentacles. So we have the seven of pentacles reverse, patience and planning. We have the firm foundation, which is the four of pentacles. Oh, well, there's that strength card. We have balance, which is justice energy. We have strength, which which the power energy here, and we have moving on. Bottom of the deck, we have harmony. So this, I believe, is the lovers card number six. Yeah, I feel like. Um, you guys may have a choice as well. Again, like this patience and planning in reverse is giving me like that lack of hope, not investing time and energy into something anymore or feeling like you're not getting anything in return for the effort that you've put in. Um, I feel like a lot of you are trying to set some sort of firm foundation in your life. Um, but you also, I feel like are a little bit rigid here. There's a little bit of um, like stubbornness I want to say on your part and I think it comes from again not trusting that like what you're currently doing is working out for you with that firm foundation um, some of you maybe don't feel very secure you're needing to find more balance in your life here with the justice card some of you though, though what I'm getting is like there may be a contract coming in um, something that helps firm up your foundation you're tired of waiting though with that seven of pentacles in reverse, you're tired of waiting. Um, but I feel like, again, there's like, like I called it the strength card coming out, right? <laughs> there's, um, there's a need for you to find your power. I think when you can kind of balance this out, and once you've kind of made it through this situation, you're going to realize your power and your strength that you have in this situation. But it's going to take a lot of courage and strength to move through this situation and to keep um, having faith um, it's interesting too, cause this, 
Justice card it reminds me of the magician a little bit with um, the four uh, suits here with the wands, the pentacles, the cups, and the swords. It's like you're going to get to this place where you have everything that you need and therefore you can create whatever it is that you want. Um, and I think that you're going to have a firm foundation within yourself. It's almost like you won't need anybody. You'll want people in your life, but you won't need anybody. I think you're kind of rising to this, this place of like having a lot of stability and balance in your life. Um, some of you may be moving away from something or you need the strength to move on from something here. Uh, it could be a relationship, but I also just see your balance, balance in your life, like your life is coming into balance and harmony. Um, but there may be something that you may have to move away from, or this could be, again, the journey, trusting on like where you're going here with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords um, is literally like spirit guiding you forward in a new direction. It's spirit guiding you in a direction. And like, again, you trusting that like they are leading you where you need to be going or where you should be going or like where you're destined to kind of go. Um, so I feel like I feel like you guys just kind of have to like trust the process because I feel like there's a lack of patience here or a lack of like you're tired of waiting. So let's see what else comes out with the tarot here. We have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you are not, <laughs> not having it. <laughs> Yeah, there's like an element of control that you're trying to maintain in your situation. Tell me more for uh, what messages you have for group one. We have the seven of wands, the five of cups, both in reverse here. All right. And then we've got the ten of pentacles. Yes, the five of pentacles. And then we got the Hierophant in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to grab one more here. The Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Bottom of that could be the Eight of Wands. So again, there is progress forward. I feel like for some of you, so with the Queen of Swords, it's like you're very... Um, you're kind of almost like detaching a little bit. Like you're, you're very just kind of like, nope, I don't want to put any effort into this anymore. I don't want to do this. Like I'm out. There's again, there's like that stubborn energy. I feel like there's a need with the seven of wands reverse, like to kind of like not be so stubborn. They're kind of wanting you to kind of like put your guard down or let your guard down. Um, I don't know if there's like something that has like happened or something that has not happened that has made you lose faith. Um, in your situation or in your life, like this could be just life in general for some of you, but for others of you, this is like a specific situation that this could be coming up in that you're like, it could be a partner. Like it definitely could be with like related to love here with the harmony that the lovers here at the bottom of the deck. So it could be a person that you've maybe lost faith in or even just love. But I feel like there's a need for you to kind of like let your guard down because I'm getting a lot of like stubborn energy, especially right in, in through these cards here, letting that go. Some of you don't believe um, like there's a lack of belief with the Hierophant here in reverse. It's like the Hierophant's all about beliefs and traditions and values. And it's like, you've lost that. Um, it's like, you don't believe in what you used to believe in. Um, and I'm not, again, I'm not really sure why, but it's almost like preventing you from moving forward. Six of swords in reverse here. It's interesting because we have the six of swords reversed. We have the seven of pentacles reversed. And then over here, we have the six of swords upright and the seven of pentacles upright. So it's like, you're currently, I feel in this space of like, not trusting, not wanting to wait to see where they're guiding you. But they're, they're kind of like asking you to trust them is almost like what spirit is trying to uh, indicate to you here. Again, it's like, you've kind of like, stopped putting in effort. I think once you kind of, um, I think there's something here with 
once you can kind of come out of this like five of cups, this like, I don't know if you miss something or you you're upset about something happening specifically, like there's a five of cups energy here that it's like you almost have to tip the scales, like come into more of this place of balance here uh, with the justice card. It's like almost like once you can let go of that, that five of cups, whatever is kind of like holding you back. Um, and I feel like it's like sadness, it's regret, it's feeling like missing out, but on in an emotional level. Um, I feel like once you can kind of almost like two with the five of five of cups reverse fives are all about change. It's like once you can let something change, right, release the control, release that five of cups energy and not try to control anything. Things will start to come into more balance for you. Again, the Eight of Pentacles can also talk about like when it's in the upright, it can talk about, um, you know, being very detailed and, you know, goal oriented, right? Because it's like looking at all the details, looking at all the, the tiny, tiny little aspects, right? And there can be a little bit of an element in control or of control in that. Um, and I think they're almost like asking you to like when it's in the reverse, it's like, let that go. You know, you don't have to fight so hard to control and micromanage, right? Um, some of you may have a hard time with control. Like you may be somebody who's like very structured in your life and very like has to be on top of everything, has to know the plans, the details, what's happening, where things are going. For some of you, I just got that like you're saying, well, I'm a mother, I have to be that way. So some of you could be mothers and so you feel like there's a lot of things in your life that you have to kind of like control or hold on to or just kind of like really try to manage um I, but again I feel like there's an aspect here where it's like you just have to trust the journey trust where you're going because there is the ten of pentacles here there's something here that they're trying to bring into you but it's like you have to be standing in your power in order for that to come into towards you it's like you may you may be a person who does have to go through more struggles in this life compared to other people to get this Ten of Pentacles. Sometimes it looks like people, that you know, it's so easy for them. But I feel like you've had to go through a lot to get here. And it's not that it's not possible. And I think that's what the Spirit is trying to say is like, don't lose hope or faith that you can't achieve this because you can. You are powerful. You are strong. You just have to find it within, right? The Strength card is all about like the internal energies or that energy in you that you have. You have this lion in you right? So you have that strength, you have that courage, you just have to find it in order to achieve it. And you don't need to control everything, right? Um, Seven of Pentacles here, it's like, some of you, this is financial, like there's a financial element to like, what you deem as like success. Um, some of you, it could be family. The Seven of Pentacles here is like, again, it's like, being patient, waiting, planning um in a good way um I feel like it's like looking at the details and like figuring out okay how am I going to move forward how am I going to achieve you know this ten of pentacles we have the moving on card with the five of pentacles I see you guys moving out of this place of lack this place of not feeling good enough this place of feeling I don't have enough I'm never I'm never gonna have enough right? I've never had enough, right? How do I, and again, it's like trusting the universe is going to take you out of this five of pentacles energy, right? There may be some planning that you guys maybe have to do that you've been avoiding as well as what I'm getting with the, um, with all these pentacle cards here. It's like pentacles. Yes, they can indicate like money, that sort of thing, but they can also indicate just our practical life. Um, so there may be a lot of like maybe things that you have to get organized or things that you've been like, um, avoiding to kind of, you know, saying like, I don't want to do that. It's, it's hard. It's challenging. And I feel like there's something here though. You need to, you need to process through it, you know, harness that inner strength. Cause I do see you guys moving forward here with the eight of wands. And again, here's that justice card, right? So you are going to move into this place of balance. Justice card is here twice. You are going to have karmic justice for your life and your situation. You just have to keep the faith and keep moving forward, keep pushing forward. Um, and keep having faith in this situation. Because I feel like there's a lot of potential here. It's just that you've lost trust or you've lost the, you're not wanting to, to kind of like keep putting effort into this for some reason. Um, and so if this is like love, let's say, it's like 
you don't, I don't want to date anybody. I don't want to have love. I don't want to have love in my life. I don't want to go there. I don't want to do this, that, and the other. I just want to stay single forever. Screw everyone, you know, whatever. And spirit's saying, no, don't go, don't give up. There's somebody out there for you. It, this, these are all just teaching you lessons for the right person to come in, right? So that when the right person comes in, you can recognize them and you can be ready for them and you can enjoy that relationship. Because sometimes people come into our life, if we haven't done the work, we bypass them. They're gone, right? Because we weren't on the vibrational match to each other, right? So sometimes you're separated from your person for a long time because you just have a lot more growth to do in that area of your life, right? This is money. It's like, don't give up on creating your firm foundation, right? Be open to different opportunities or ways to make money. And maybe you've had to struggle through money so that when you finally get money, you know how to keep it. You know how to save it. So many people like, you know, you hear this all the time, they, they win the lottery and they grew up in like, let's say poverty, or they grew up maybe even just in middle class. And now they have like millions of dollars and they lose it all because they don't actually know how to manage it. They've never had that much money in their life. And so they don't actually know what to do with it. And so they end up actually losing all of it or spending all of it. And then they didn't have anything for saving, right? So I feel like you've gone through the struggle to teach you something so that when you finally get what you've been asking for for so long, you know what to do with it. So that is what I have for you, group one. Kind of deep. Um, hopefully, hopefully that resonated. I feel like it was kind of, it was very broad, but I feel like also there's always like, there's always some aspect of our life regardless of what it is, whether it's money, finances, uh, our jobs that we are in, like you may be in a job that you just don't enjoy. You haven't been able to find your purpose, that sort of thing. It's like, don't give up searching for it. It could be love. Everyone has an aspect of their life that they struggle in more than another, right? And so I feel like whatever that aspect is for you, don't give up, you know, having hope and faith that you're going to achieve it because I feel like you will achieve it you just have to keep going you just have to get through the storm first and learn the lessons that spirit you know is trying to teach you I guess in some way so that is what I have for you group one hopefully that resonated um let me know down below if you guys have any suggestions for type of pick of cards you would like to see definitely drop those down below as well um and yeah I will see you guys in the next video bye Hi, group number two, welcome. Um, if you chose this pile uh, for group number two, then this is your reading. I'm not gonna lie, I started this reading and then my phone decided to tell me I had no more storage. <laughs> so I kind of already have an inkling as to what's kind of going on for you guys. So I might kind of like go through this part a little bit faster um, before we kind of pull cards. So I've pre-pulled Oracle cards here, which I already went through those um, and um, I'm also going to pull tarot and the psychic tarot oracle deck. So we're going to get some additional messages here for you guys. Um, I honestly, I pulled some of these. I put them back because I didn't even read them. Um, but these were the ones that were already pre-pulled for you. So we'll kind of see what comes up. Um, so the first card that you guys have is the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. So, um, there's something that's different about about a person. I feel like it's a person now that I've obviously seen the other cards. For some of you, what I was getting though was also that like the people that you hang out with or the people that are coming into your life are very different than you typically would kind of surround yourself with. Um, I feel like there is, yeah, there's just like a change in your relationships. For some of you, this is a different type of relationship when it comes to like, so if you're looking for love, this is a different type of partner than you've ever had in the past. Um, it's somebody who, like kind of what I was saying before was like, it's somebody who, if you just like looked at the two of you and you were going to make a judgment on it visually, people would be like, why is, why are they with each other? Like, that seems weird, you know, but it's like, they don't, those are the people who make those prejudgments are the people who don't actually know who you are. Even if they are friends or family who are making those judgments, it's people who don't actually understand you. Um, it's people who, they don't get you on a different level. Um, I, I feel like you guys, there is a transformation card here. Let me just pull these out. Uh, we have dance with life, uh, do something to change your energy. And then we have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So I feel like you guys have gone through a big change in your life. You guys have gone through a massive transformation. And again, like what I was saying was like, she's sitting on her throne, you know, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. 
you're, th- you're sitting on your throne. You've done some really deep healing and it's like you have leveled up in your life and like nobody can hold you back anymore. There's like, I feel like some of you could have even maybe had a, a, a relationship in the past that you've done a lot of deep healing from. And I feel like the dance with life, again, there's two people in this card. Just like there's two people in this card, which tells me that it's a person, like it's it's one person is what I'm picking up on. And for some of you, if it's not love, like if you're like, well, I'm already in a relationship, it could be a friend that is unconventional to, to your typical type, if you want to put it that way. I feel like it could be somebody who now has like, if you have a new interest or some sort of new thing that you're doing, it's like this person also has that interest. And so it's like you come together um, I see this as somebody you have a lot of fun with, but there's also a, like an emotional um, element to this relationship. Again, it could be platonic, emotional, or romantic. Okay, so it could be either or. Depends on kind of how it fits in your life. But regardless, there's people that are coming into your life or a person who's coming into your life that's going to kind of change. It's going to create changes in your life. I think you've already created the changes in your life with this transformation card, which is what's allowing these people to come in or this person to come in. We also have inner earth here. So this card says, you'll survive this, new solutions and beginnings. So again, I feel like there's somebody new here that is um, coming into your life that is like non-traditional or it's like somebody you wouldn't consider uh, becoming a friend or a romantic partner um, in the past before you went through this deep healing. Okay, so I am picking up that there's like a person here um, that I feel spirit is kind of like highlighting for you for some reason. But I also feel like, I don't know, it's something, I feel like this person helps change your life. So let's see what else is coming out for you, group two. What message does group two need to know? We have patience and planning. We have new beginnings, so kind of similar to that inner earth energy, but this is the fool card. So seven of pentacles, we have the fool, we have the throat chakra, and we have the waiting game. Interesting. Different cards, but we have um, love begins, which is the ace of cups here. Um, I feel like you guys have been waiting for this person. I do really heavily feel like this is more love related than it is anything else. So if you're not looking for love, then this might not be your reading. Um, there's going to be somebody who comes into your life that is, again, so different than what you've ever had before in the past. So I can't remember if I said this already, but I think I was talking about this in the when I first was recording. I was like, honestly, I was recording for like, <laughs> probably like six or seven minutes and then I looked at the camera and I realized it had stopped recording at like a minute and a half so bear with me here so what I was saying in the last video was like if you have always kind of attracted the same types of people into your life so especially on a romantic level if you've always like dated the same types of people just in like different physical forms so it could be like you know that unavailable you know emotionally unavailable or um, you know, even manipulative person that like, you know, gets what they want out of the relationship and then they're gone. You know, you could be ghosted all the time. You could be, there's something similar or some sort of a pattern I feel within your past connections, um, that you have always brought or attracted into your life that I feel like has now changed. So because you've gone through this level up, this transformation, I feel like there's boundaries in your life a little bit more. Now you are able to recognize the red flags that maybe you would have missed in the past. And so I feel like now you're able to bring in the right person because you're, you're more like consciously aware of these negative qualities. Right. And so when you see the good ones, you're like, oh my gosh, (laughs) you know, this is a good person. So I feel like you're at a vibrational match to this new person. I feel like you've been waiting with this patience and planning the seven of pentacles. I feel like as well, you've also been investing a lot of time. It took a lot of time. I feel like with this, you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. It's like, you've been going through this, um, for a little while now. Um, and I feel like, let me, uh, move these over a little here for you guys. Um, I feel like, I, yeah, I just feel like there is, there's definitely new love. 
I feel like this person's going to speak to you. And again, I, you've been waiting for this person. You've been waiting. Uh, I think this is the two of wands here. This waiting game. So again, some of you have been waiting for this person to come in. Um... I do feel like there's there's going to be communication, like a new beginning. Somebody's going to talk to you with the throat chakra here. And again, ace of ace of cups. We have the emperor behind that. So again, I feel like there's new love, a new person uh, coming into your life here. Interesting. Just trying to see if I'm picking up anything else. I feel like this person with the two wands, it's like, they are meant to be on your path. And I feel like you've been manifesting this person as well. This is the fool card, the new beginnings. Someone may take a risk to communicate with you. Again, there's something like that's different about this person. So I'm, I'm not sure if they, I'm not sure if they, um, maybe they don't feel like they're your type or something like that. Or you may not feel like you're their type. So let's see what else is going on for group two. What do we need to know, spirit, for group two? What does group two need to know? Messages from spirit. All right. So we have the king of cups. We have the five of pentacles. We have the eight of pentacles. Tell me more, spirit. We have the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I kind of feel like, I think there's this a King of Cups person who you have moved away from, or I feel like you kind of changed after that person. Um, I feel like with the Five of Pentacles, like they could have left you, you could have left them, but regardless, it's like you started to work on yourself. Um... You could have been like also just focused on your goals and like kind of more your practical life for a while. Getting your, your personal life in order. Um, what else does? Yeah, three of pentacles. Let's get a few more here for group two spirit. Nine of swords. Temperance. Give me one more. Thank you. King of Wands. Okay. We have the Four of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Actually, I'm going to put that over here so you can see it. Everything's like flipped for me. Okay. So I know you guys can't really see these bottom cards, but um, what I'm getting is that I feel like you invested a lot of time and energy into somebody possibly from the past. It's like you really try to make things work. Um, Again, this person could have maybe been like emotionally unavailable or you invested a lot of emotion with this King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. But I almost feel like somebody chose to walk away from this situation. Uh, this person could have had other people as well with the Three of Pentacles. I feel like that's all like kind of your past, your past stuff. And I feel like kind of while you were, you know, stressing about this with the Nine of Swords, there was a lot of like things that you were trying to go through here with this nine of swords or that you're trying to process and work through. But I feel like you kind of put that energy into yourself with the eight of pentacles. Like you really started to kind of balance, balance out your own energy with the temperance here. I feel like there's a fire sign. I feel like you could have been dealing with a water sign in the past. I feel like there's a fire sign coming in towards you or somebody who embodies that energy with the temperance. That's Sagittarius. And then we have the king of wands here um, as well. Um, so I feel like I feel like you, while you've been kind of going through this change and this transformation, I feel like um, you've been kind of closed off from other people. You've kind of like closed your heart off. I feel like this person wants to come in towards you, though. This King of Wands temperance energy, like this person wants to work with you. I kind of feel like some of you might be resistant to this person. Two of Swords, Eight of Swords, like you might be questioning this or you're like I don't know if this is really 
what I want or is this is this the person for me? I feel like it is. But I feel like you guys might question it again, especially if this person is different. Tell me about this King of Wands. I didn't do this for the other group, but they didn't really have a person. Tell me about this King of Wands for group number two. Who is this person, this King of Wands? Definitely, I definitely feel like it's like a fire sign. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Chariot. I feel like this person has been looking for somebody like you. Uh, they've been searching for you is kind of almost what I'm getting with the three of cups or sorry, the eight of cups and the three of wands. It's like this person's been on a journey trying to find what they've been looking for. Um, and with the knight of swords, again, there's like communication. I feel that's coming in from this person. It's like, they've been on this journey trying to find their 10 of cups. They've been trying to find their person. They've been waiting just like you have. They might've also had the same sort of like feeling like, I don't know if I'm going to find my person um, but with the chariot here, we have the star, judgment. I think this person has done a lot of healing work as well. They've possibly gone through some sort of a transformation here as well, or like some sort of ending here that they've had to heal from with the judgment and the star and the chariot. It's like ending something, healing from it and moving forward, overcoming the obstacles that they've kind of gone through and possibly their past relationships too. Um, because they, they also have the ten of swords here behind that. So this person has gone through their own form of healing and transformation. Um, and I feel like that's, it's almost like, again, you guys are kind of like hitting this vibrational match together where it's like you guys can finally come into union here. Um, so it is a new beginning here in love. I feel like you've maybe been closed off emotionally from the past. But now you've gone through this transformation. I'm getting like heavy Scorpio. So you might have Scorpio in your chart. Um, but I feel like, again, there's some there's somebody new. And again, it definitely could be a fire sign because the that's like Aries energy here. So I feel like you've dealt with people in the past who haven't really treated you the best. They could have kept you in third parties. They're people who ghosted you, you know, kept you kind of in the dark, didn't really tell you things. And it's like, you're moving on from that. You're actually attracting in somebody here who I feel like is on the same page as you. Um, they might be very different though, th from your, your traditional type, um, is honestly what I'm getting, but I feel like it's like, you need this change. I think that you're going to have a lot of enjoyment with this person I, I almost feel like the message from spirit is like you know open yourself up don't be afraid to to open yourself up to different types of people date different types of people but also communicate what it is that you want don't hold back um, in these connections like if you know exactly what it is that you want in love don't be afraid to express that because the right person will um will be okay with that the right person will be open to that as well so I feel like there's a little bit of like you guys stepping into your authentic expression and being able to communicate what it is that you want. Now that you've gone through the transformation, you know exactly, I feel like what you want in a life partner. And I feel like you just have to be okay with um, expressing that. There may still be a little bit of like a fear of rejection or like a fear of you know, what if this person doesn't want the same thing as me? But I, I feel like the person who's coming in does. I feel like they've been searching for somebody like you. I feel like there could be a little bit of distance between the two of you. So I don't know if you live far away from each other or it's like, again, you just may, might not have met this person yet. Uh, but I do feel like... I do feel like this person's coming in. But they've been waiting for you just like you've been waiting for them. Like there's like that mutual energy there. Um, and I do see it at, like, you know, kind of moving towards like a new relationship, new love, Ace of Cups. It's somebody who you're really going to enjoy your time with as well, Spirit is saying. So I feel like Spirit almost like wants to tell you like there is something new coming in, especially if you haven't really been in a solid relationship in a long time. I feel like 
the transformation card is saying like you've been going through a transformation and there is a new beginning coming. You just have to maybe be a little bit patient, patient in planning. So you could still kind of be in this energy and going through a little bit of the transformation or you're just kind of exiting that transformation period. And now this new person is going to come in like you're you are going to make it through this. You are kind of like right at the right at the door um, of like what's about to come in because I do see movement here with this person. So I feel like this person is on their way. I almost feel like you don't really have to approach this person. I think they're going to come in toward in your life. Like you don't have to go seeking for this person. They're going to come in towards you. So a little bit shorter than uh, group one, but that's because I already recorded this part. So I kind of gate uh, glazed over that a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is what I have for you group two. Hopefully that resonates for you guys. Um, let me know down below as well if you have any additional information or not information, but uh, suggestions for pick a cards that you would like to see. Um, definitely write those down in the comments as well. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Hi, group number three. Welcome. If you chose this pile, this is going to be your reading from spirit. Uh, so far, group one and two have been actually very different from each other. Um, so if this doesn't, this doesn't resonate, you can always check out uh, the other two piles if you felt drawn to one of them as well. Uh, you guys had the least amount of cards come out for you guys. I pre-pulled um, Oracle cards here and then we're going to live pull Tarot and um, also pull Psychic Tarot Oracle cards. So they're kind of a combo of uh, Tarot and Oracle. Um, yeah, we're going to kind of see what message spirit has for you guys so let's kind of hop on into it so we have number 38 honesty is essential speak with love and truth um i kind of feel like they want you to be honest and truthful about a situation um i feel like almost like with yourself you could be kind of like lying to yourself. I feel like for some of you, it could be with like your feelings towards another person. You could be pretending that you don't have emotions for this person, but you really do. For others of you, um, you need honesty from another person. I feel like um, somebody might not be honest with you. They could be wearing a mask. Sorry, I'm just having a sip of my coffee. Um, so yeah, you could be experiencing the fact that like somebody could be wearing a false mask. Um, so look out for deception or people who are like telling you what you want to hear. You may be trying to get the truth from somebody as well. You may know that somebody's hiding from something from you. And so you're trying to get the truth from them. But be, be cautious of people wearing false masks or <laughs> pay attention to yourself doing that to you, right? So it's like you thinking like, you know, Telling yourself one thing, but really you feel a different way. Because I feel like it has to do with your emotions. We also have star mother. How can you mother yourself? So this to me indicates like nurturing yourself, looking after yourself. I think some of you, some of you really need to be honest with yourself um, about a situation. I do feel like it evol involves another person or other people that you need to be honest about. But you need to look after yourself first. And even if this, if it's another person who's not being truthful to you, you have to do what's best for you in this situation. You know, so like don't go along with this person's lies and don't fall for their, their, um, their lies if, you know, it's not what's best for you. You need to look after yourself. That's kind of what I'm getting from that. We have a new earth. It's happening. Hold the vision. You're sorry. Keep holding the vision. I think when you can be honest with yourself, you're going to get what you want. Or when you can start to see the red flags in other people, you're going to get what you want. There's going to be something new that comes in for you. Um, group number three. I think you're in the process. You might be starting to see and you might be starting to look after yourself. Like some of you have already started this process. You've already been nurturing yourself a little bit more. You've already been looking after yourself a little bit more. Um... You've already been speaking honesty, speaking truths to yourself, showing love and compassion towards yourself. And that's what's actually going to bring in something new, I feel, or a new opportunity or just like new people, um, something to that effect. 
But there's there is something here about being honest. All right. So let's see. We already have the lovers come out. So we have recognition and reward, which is the three of pentacles. We have movement, choices, and decisions, the two of pentacles. We have the lovers, harmony. Tell me more for group three. What does group three need to know, spirit? Messages for group three from spirit, please. We have power, number eight, which is the strength card. You guys have a decision here to make. We have two of cups, uh, spiritual union. You guys might have a decision to make between two people when it comes to love. Um, I'm going to just move these over a little bit so you can see them a little better. That's better. Um, yeah, you guys might be having a decision between new pe two people. Interesting. We'll see if that comes up in the tarot, but I feel like you've done a lot of work. It could be somebody who you also may work with somebody here with the three of pentacles. It could be a work related choice of like what's in more alignment with you as well. But I feel like in order to make the right decision for you, um, you really have to be honest with yourself. With this, this strength card, it's like with the power, it's about going within and really figuring out what is truthful to you, what is accurate, um, standing in your power and making a decision that is um, supportive to you as well. Um, again, there's like a duality here. Like I'm getting, there's two, the harmonies two, spiritual unions two. He has two faces, like the, the lion and his own. So again, there, there is also that element of like, a false mask or duality, you know, like seeking out the actual truth. There could be two sides to a story that you're hearing about as well. I feel like there's some sort of like, I don't know, there's like something you have to like maybe figure out. You're trying to make progress. You're trying to achieve something, I feel whether that's a relationship or a career, something like practical. But I feel like you have to really see something for what it is. With the six, um, or sorry, the lovers and the spiritual union, the two of cups, it definitely could indicate love here for some of you. All right, so let's see what the tarot has for you guys for group number three. What does group number three need to know, spirit? Group number three. Group number three. What do they need to know, spirit? What does group number three need to know? We have the Princess of Torches. Of the Eight of Torches and Justice and Judgment. Let's get one more here. One more, please. Thank you. Wheel of Fortune with the Emperor. Yeah, there's a decision here that you guys have to make. And again, it's like making a decision of like what's right with the Justice card. And what's right for you. I think there's, <clears throat> sorry, I think there's um, change coming into your life. With the Wheel of Fortune and a new earth, it's like, you could be creating change. I think that there's possibly been a person, either you've been lying to yourself about this relationship and like where it's going, its potential, how truthful or like how good it is. Like you could have been like 
staying in a relationship that you're like, oh, it's good. It's fine. It's whatever. But like deep down, you like, you know, you're not happy in it. It could be that. For others of you, there's somebody here that's deceptive. It could even be somebody who you work with that you're needing to make a choice for what's right for you. You have to make a judgment call. There's a decision here. There's an option or a decision here of two things. Staying in one place, which I feel like is inauthentic to you, or moving in a new direction, creating change with the Wheel of Fortune. We do have the Emperor here, which could indicate you taking control of your own life, taking charge of this situation, making a decision, but it also could indicate um, a person. Give me more on this. For group three, please, spirit. Group number three. Sorry, I'm shuffling off camera just because I'm sitting on the ground. So my <laughs> my legs get a little sore with me leaning forward like that. Um, group number three. So we have princess of cups. Seven of cups. Again, options. What direction are you going to move in? Keep holding your vision of what it is that you really want, but you have to be honest with yourself about what it is that you're trying to achieve. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Interesting. One more. Thank you. The Ten of Swords. Yeah. Five of Cups. I think you know that someone's not going to be happy with your decision. And I think that might be maybe why you're holding back because I feel like there is an element of holding back. But again, it's like you have to look after yourself. I feel like it's somebody else who's maybe not going to be happy about this. If this is a relationship, I feel like some of you maybe have fallen out of love with this person or there's not as much love as you thought. You've been maybe like thinking about opening up your options or looking at your other options when it comes to love. I feel like... Um, Again, there's something ending here, Ten of Swords. You're putting an end to something, and it's going to create change. Um, but you might, there's like a little bit of sadness, regret about like having something come crumbling down. You may feel like responsible for it as well. I want to see what's coming in though after you make this change. What is coming in, Spirit, after Group 3 makes this change? What is coming in after Group 3 makes this change, Spirit? We have the Hierophant. Interesting. What is coming in after group three? It makes this change spirit. What is coming in after group three? It makes this change. The Hermit. Give me one more, please. King of Swords. And we have the Moon. I think you're going to become clear with it over time. There's something still within yourself that you have to get clear on, I think. I also feel, too, that, like, part of going through this process is actually teaching you something that you still have yet to figure out, the Hermit and the King of Swords. It's like, it's going to become clear to you where you're kind of going. Some of you already know where you're going. It's a personal thing, like, it, the, the Hermit. It's like, you, it's a... It's not really something I can like put out in a general reading because it's going to be different for all of you is also what I'm getting. But you have to be, again, there's like some sort of a decision here that you have to make and it requires you to be honest with yourself about this situation. Um, there's a lot of emotion here. I think you maybe feel bad about having to leave something behind or end something. And again, it could be a relationship, but it could also be um, a job or, I don't know, it's, you're moving on from one thing and into something else or wanting to move into something else or you will be moving into something else. The, the point of this reading with it, that Spirit wants you to know is like to be honest with what decision you're going to make. Look at yourself. Look, look at deep within you the moon look deep within you to figure out what it is that you really want I do feel like it's it's within within another person we have like two people here two here two here two in the lovers 
We have that duality there with the, the strength card, that power card. So I feel like there's something here that you're letting go of. You're making a final judgment call on something, but do, it, do make sure you do it from a place of love. Speak love and truth into this situation, and I feel like it's not going to go as bad as you think. Um, it, it, you know, it's going to hurt. It's not always going to feel, it's not going to feel, it never feels good to end something and walk away from something. But I feel like for a lot of you, there's something here that is better on the other side of that. And I think you know that. So I'm not sure what it is for you, but it's like, if you know you need to end something right now, this is your reading. I feel like if you know that there's something that you need to walk away from, but you've been hesitant because you're, you're holding on to it for someone else, you know, you're not doing it for you. You're doing it for other people. I feel like this is them saying like, you need to look after yourself first, right? Look after yourself first and worry about people after because you have to do what's right for you in this situation. So again, kind of specific, um, all three of these readings were very different from each other. I feel like yours is pretty like clear and cut. Like, I don't feel like there's anything really crazy going on, but it's like making the right choice for you. There's a very big personal aspect to this. You could have maybe done things for other people a lot, but I feel like now it's time to look after yourself. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I have for you, group three. Hopefully that resonated. Um, again, pretty short and concise. It was one of the, they progressively got a little shorter. <laughs> but um, you guys also had like the least amount of cards kind of fall out, but it's also very clear, I feel. So, yeah, that's basically what I have for you guys. So hopefully that resonated. Um, let me know down below if this uh, resonated for you. And if you have any suggestions about future pick of cards that you would like to see, definitely comment those down below. I would love to um, kind of see what you guys would like to, to see. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.